Hey everybody, it's Gia, and today I'm going to be working with you guys on your goals for this upcoming school year. Um, I am a sophomore um, in high school, and I would say the biggest thing for you to be learning and navigating your way through high school is for thinking about your goals for this year. Um, a big thing with incoming kids are, am I going to get lost? Am I going to get good grades? Is this going to be different? Oh my god, there are so many people. Oh my gosh, these kids have mustaches. Like, it's scary. Um, but I think some things for me of what I do for my goals is I always try and pursue myself to where I want to go in life. I think you should try and figure out what you want to be doing or even think of like in the realm of what you want to be doing. So we'll say you want to be a lawyer, but you don't know what type of lawyer because there's like hundreds of different, different law door, pff, lawyers. Um, so you can head down the, I want to take AP World, I want to take AP Lang, I want to take AP Government. Um, take the classes that you think that you are going to be getting the most out of. And I would say that's a long-term goal because obviously it's throughout your four years of high school. But um, your goals for this year should be based around what you want to do. Like if you really, really struggle in math. Um, then say, okay, I at least want to get a B plus this year in math, or I want to strive for that A. Strive for your good grades. Participate in class. Um, do your homework, which I know a lot of kids don't like doing. Um, push yourself to be the best that you can be. Um, but I, I also play a varsity sport. So I have to incorporate my time with my AP classes, my AP class that I'm in, my honors classes, and obviously, can't forget about my other classes. You don't do that, please. Um, I have to find time to make sure that I have time for everything and to make sure I can strive to be the best that I can be at everything. I mean, I play number one singles for tennis, so that's big over at my school. Um, I have to find time to train. I have five days a week. I don't get home till sometimes 6 o'clock, 6.30, almost 7.00. Um, and the thing that I do is that I make sure that I take a study hall. And you'll hear teachers say, study hall is not important, you don't need a study hall. Yeah, you do. Especially if you're an athlete, you need that study hall. Because I know kids, when you come home from your sport at night, you don't want to do your homework. You just want to eat, FaceTime your friends, take a shower, and go right to bed. Because that's exactly how I am. And I know I'm not the only kid out there that hates doing that stuff. Um, I think it's a big thing to um, sit and think about what classes that you want to work the hardest in. Like say that, obviously going back to like if you're really bad at math, but and you're also not good at science, but you kind of got Spanish and uh, English and social studies or history, like like that don't forget about them but tr put more, a little more time into that um subject that you're struggling in or go to labs ask your teacher i mean do everything you can so you can reach your goal and make sure the biggest thing i like to think about with my goals is strive for realistic goals do not say Oh, I want to be a professional football player, but I've never played football a day in my life, and that's the thing I'm striving for. I mean, you do you. I mean, if you think you can do it, then do it, but you have to have a backup plan for everything that you do. So, to recap, I would say focus on the classes that you need the most, even get all your core classes out of the way, get out, out of the way, all the classes that, especially the college that you want to go to, um, want. I know the Ivy Leagues really want, I think it's four years of foreign language, and so I'm obviously taking four years of foreign language. I lo absolutely love foreign language, um, but it's a 
big, big thing to take the classes that you need to be taking and passing them and keeping your GPA up and doing really well on your SAT and your ACT and your AP exams so that you're the most prepared for college. And this is obviously what this is all, these videos are all about is to help you during college and for college and before college. So setting goals is probably your biggest thing throughout your entire high school career and it never should go away. So I really hope this video helped and I hope you all have an amazing day and good luck.